acids and bases. There are two acid-base theories that you need to know. Arrhenius theory and bronson lowry theory of acids and bases. Arrhenius relates to acids and bases in an aqueous solution such as water, whereas bronson lowry theory doesn't require the acid or base to be in a solution. There are several definitions in this chapter that you need to know. You need to be able to define Arrhenius acid bases. From this, you need to be able to state what a strong or weak acid base is. The definitions are not difficult. Note, H plus ions are also known as protons. Arrhenius describes an acid as a substance that dissociates in water to produce protons. For example, HCl in the presence of water dissociates to form H plus and Cl minus ions. Likewise, nitric acid produces H plus ions and NO3 minus ions in the presence of water. Both these examples show one proton being formed, but you can get acids that form two protons. Sulfuric acid produces two H plus ions in an aqueous solution. Arrhenius then describes a base as a substance that dissociates in water to produce OH minus ions also known as hydroxide ion. For example, sodium hydroxide dissociates in water to produce Na plus N a hydroxide ion. Similar to acids, a base can dissociate in the aqueous solution to produce more than one hydroxide ion. For example, both magnesium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide produce two OH minus ions each. Arrhenius' definitions were flawed, however. Arrhenius incorrectly assumed that H plus ions can exist independently in a solution. It was later discovered that the proton attacks the water molecule to form a H3O plus um, ion called a hydronium ion. The hydronium ion is very common for acids in the aqueous solution. There are some acids and bases that need to be learnt off so that you know they are strong or weak. It would be important for later calculations that you can identify acids that produce one or more hydrogens. Mono means one, di meaning two, and tri meaning three. For now, you simply need to be identifying acids that can produce multiple hydrogen ions. Arrhenius theory does have its limitations. For instance, as we know, it's actually the hydronium ion that exists in solution not bare H plus ions. His theory is restricted to aqueous solutions. It doesn't apply to solvents. Not all acid-base reactions require water. As with Arrhenius, Branson Lowry also have several definitions that you need to know. We will be doing equations soon to practice these definitions. Some molecules can act as an acid in one reaction and then as a base in another reaction. We call these amphoteric molecules. Amphi is Greek for both sides. Think of amphibians, which can live in water and also on land. Water is an amphoteric substance. Earlier we seen in a reaction with HCl, water was a base. It accepted a proton. However, if water reacts with ammonia, then it acts as an acid. It donates a proton. Conjugate acid base pairs. These are simply acid base reactions that differ by one proton. Let's look at an example. Step 1 Write out the reactants. Ethnoic acid and water. Note, you will see ethnoic acid later in organic chemistry. For now, we know it's an acid. Step 2 Now we write out the products. We know ethnoic acid is an acid, obviously, so it must donate a proton, and therefore water will have to accept that proton. Step 3. Identify the conjugate acid and the conjugate base. They are the opposites of the reactants. For instance, the conjugate acid is the hydronium ion, 
and the conjugate base is the CH3COO- species. Let's look at another example. Step 1. Write out the reactants. HNO3 is a strong acid that we have learnt of. Therefore, H2F2 is a base. Step 2. Now we write out the products. We know nitric acid is the acid, so it must donate a proton, and H2F2 will accept that proton. Step 3. Identify the conjugate acid and the conjugate base. They are the opposites of the reactants. Let's see how to find the conjugate acid or the conjugate base. In this question, we are, we are asked to find both. I always do these the same way and it never lets me down. Step 1. We are looking for the conjugate acid. Therefore, we have HC2O4 minus is the base. I write down the ion with base above it. Step 2. Remember bronson lowry definition. A base is a proton acceptor. So we add on a H plus ion. Step 3. Double check the charges. You are adding something positive to a negative complex ion. They cancel out, so we are left with a neutral compound. We can apply the same logic to find the conjugate base. Step 1. We are looking for the conjugate base, so therefore HC2O4- minus is the acid. I write down the ion with the acid above it. Step 2. Remember bronson lowry definition. An acid is a proton donor, so we lose a H plus ion. Step 3. Double check the charges. You are removing something positive from a negative complex ion, so we, we are left with a 2 minus complex ion. Neutralization is defined as the reaction between an acid and a base to form salt and water. A salt is defined as a substance formed when the hydrogen ion from an acid is replaced by a metal or an ammonium ion. You should know at least two everyday neutralisation reactions.